morning y'all welcome to another vlog it's a new week y'all today is monday october the 9th and i'm currently opening up my uh cleanse that i'm doing so a lot of y'all are doing this with me i know i said i was gonna start on the 8th okay forgive me i was so busy yesterday and my husband was gone for half of the day so like i had a lot of stuff to get done by myself and the time just kind of got away from me but i'm starting it today i literally just ripped it out the plastic okay so this is the cleanse just in case you want to jump in and do it and let me know how it goes by the time you see this i already did it for a whole week so i'll i'll like try to check in and let y'all know how i'm feeling as i'm taking it um so the instructions say that one serving is a half teaspoon, which is 50 drops. So um, I'm probably just gonna do the 50 drops uh, two to three times a day or as needed. So I'm only gonna do like twice a day. Three is a little OD. And it's already 11.38, like it's almost 12. So you're supposed to have this on an empty stomach for three weeks, discontinue for a week, and then take again for a, another three weeks. So I'm gonna do this three weeks on, one week off, three weeks on. And then that's the end of the cleanse. My husband is actually doing a cleanse with me, y'all. He's just working right now. But he's doing a cleanse with me. Y'all, let me show y'all these shoes I got from Amazon. Like, I didn't know we were wearing these again. So I just ordered these. They just came, so I put them on to see. Uh, they, like, knock off Birkenstocks. Because I was going to buy some Birks. But I'm like, $150 for these? Mm-mm. So I'm not sure how much I paid for these. I'm sure they were like under $40 and they're very comfortable. I'm actually going to get my daughter some, but the ones they had for kids, the shipping was slow. It was going to be like a month and no, we ain't doing that. So yeah, I got a bunch of other stuff from Amazon, like some new phone cases, some little squishies. My kids have been having fun with these squishy molds. I'll show y'all later if they end up doing that. But yeah, so now I have it open. I want to smell it. I got to smell it before I like commit to it. It don't smell bad, y'all. I mean, it really don't smell bad to me, but then again, I don't know. I might be a little weird and I like healthy-ish stuff. Babe, come do it with me. I'm nervous now. I be needing the courage. I need the courage, so I'm gonna get him to do it with me. Are we supposed to put, I'm gonna put 50 drops in like a medicine cup. Uh, You could do a half teaspoon. I just wanna make sure I'm getting the right serving, so I'm gonna do this. Woo. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. Okay, so let's put 50 drops in this cup. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. This is gonna be forever, ain't it? Six, seven, eight, nine. So this is about 50 drops, y'all. Like, and it looks like, yeah, five milliliters. So that's like a teaspoon. So yeah, I did good. Um, so that's about 50 drops. I think next time I'm gonna just pour it. But this is what it looks like. Mm. It don't smell bad though. I don't really know what it smell like, like a spice, but not really, like not spicy, but like a spice. Um, but it has black walnut hull, orange peel, lavender flower, clove bud, gentian root, wormwood, leaf and stem, and tansy herb. So that's it. That's all that's in here. And it don't smell bad. I had a little water right here because, you know, I washed my mouth out. But I'm going to take this twice today. It's 11.42. So I'm gonna take this again. It's still on an empty stomach. So I guess I'll take it again tonight before I go to bed. I'll do that like after dinner. So I'll probably take this around like 7.30 tonight. So we'll see. Woo y'all, here goes nothing. We can do this. Mm. Y'all, it's like drinking perfume or something i can't even explain it you see my face oh i don't know it almost reminds me of like licorice which i do not like but it don't have licorice in there but it's definitely like giving me that and it could be the clove that's in it that i'm tasting but yeah that's that first dose and i think you're supposed to like drink a lot of water throughout the day i'm gonna do like rebounding and stuff just to make sure my lymphs are draining properly like when you're doing a cleanse you want to make sure your body is able to actually cleanse your lymphs are draining you are just sweating and doing what you need to do i worked out so that was that and i'm like this supposed to like i'm gonna buy another one because this is supposed to last for three weeks on a week off and then three more weeks so 
I don't know if this is gonna do six weeks. Not for two people, so. I'll probably buy some more for my husband. He ain't gonna like it at all, y'all, but he said he wanted to do it with me. So my agenda for today, this morning I woke up, I have some turkey wings and legs in the crock pot right now. So I'm letting those cook. They're gonna cook all day until dinner. They've been cooking since this morning, so they're gonna be nice and tender. And then I have some asparagus. We did get groceries yesterday, and I should have showed y'all the haul. I didn't know y'all like grocery hauls until y'all tell me. But you know, I just got some stuff for the week. And so today I have a to-do list. I was supposed to start the cleanse, which I'm doing today, but yesterday my to-do list was like, you know, I want to do a lot. I wash my daughter's hair. I'm actually about to take my twist out. It's going to take me hours, and then I want to wash my hair, and now I'm gonna put my hair just in section twist, let it dry, and then I'll probably start actually putting these mini twists back in either later on tonight or it'll be starting tomorrow, so. I don't know how janky I'm gonna look if I come back on here tonight and do this clean, but I really don't have nothing going on. For losing 75 pounds, my husband asked me what I wanted. I said I wanted a new phone. So our new phone should be here today and I'm excited about that. I got some cases for us or whatever. So I am excited to have my new phone. I'm ready for dinner though, because even though this turkey don't look nowhere near ready, it's smelling the house up. It smells amazing, it smells amazing. But I'm gonna get off of here y'all because it's almost 12 and I thought I would've had like half my hair taken down, but I had a late start to the day. So I'm gonna check in later. Y'all, I look absolutely ridiculous. I'm still in the process of taking out my hair. So just don't mind it. This is how I've taken down so far, by the way. Just this, this one little, this, you see, chad bye. It's gonna be, we're gonna be forever in a year. But anyways, my new phone just came. Well, our new phones are here. Boom, I'm so excited. So this is a 14 Pro Max. I did not get a 15, I don't see the reason. I had an 11 forever, so I'm had this 14 Pro Max forever. Okay, cause we just dumb people that ain't got time, okay? But I'm about to open it, cause y'all know, like setting up your phone, seriously, can take some time, so. So pretty, that's the charging cable. So I went ahead and made sure that my phone automatically backs up so the last backup was yesterday so it should be straight it ain't like i'm getting a whole lot of new phone contacts or whatever i actually try to be deleting contacts so i think it's good to go i also got a case i'll show y'all i got like a temporary case and then my like for real for real case will come tomorrow oh it's so pretty but yeah i'm gonna get the case because just even holding this without the case is like a no hold on all right i got the case I just got this from Amazon. It's like a cheapy case. It was like $10, but I needed something for now until my other case comes. Um, and it might actually come tomorrow, but you know what? Between in a day, I could really break a phone. So we ain't trying to do that. So it's just, it's purple. It's kind of like a deep purple though. So I don't know if it's coming off on camera, how it looks in person. It's a little lighter in person. Then it looks on there. But it does have like a temper screen. Oh, they're like, like you could punch these out. I guess they're like stickers you could put on your phone or decorate your case. That's not really my vibe, but you know, it's cute or whatever. Um, The case that I actually ordered is like a clear pink. I'll show y'all tomorrow if I remember. But um, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and put the case on while I'm even just like chilling here. You know, like, let me just put this on. I never get cases that are like just a slip on sleeve and this is like a silicone. I never get cases like this because I like my phones to have like as much protection as they can get. Yay! So, I don't know. It's not showing up, but I guess I'm going to set up my phone. I'm so glad it came with almost a full charge. We are here for that. Hold on. I need to put the temper screen on. I saw that like a lot of um like a new case you get come with the guide for the screen but y'all i just i just put it on there if it's a little crooked who cares like who's gonna be like oh my god your temper screen is crooked nobody cares see the lighting be weird but it's not that bad i just look a hot mess because of my hair but look over my hair okay so we have the charging cable and then stuff that nobody ever looks at here and so let's look at the difference oh this is so cute so yeah the difference in size i'm trying to hold them without like dropping one 
here that this one's just longer anyway so i'm going to set this up i'm english mm -hmm. bring your current iphone near this iphone to sign in and set up okay position this image in the frame i'm about to get this set up and then i will talk to y'all later but i'm just excited to like finally have a new phone after years like let me know if that's you do y'all really update or upgrade y'all phone every couple of years when it says you're eligible for an upgrade like it's cool if you do you ain't getting no judgment from me boo it's cool if you do but i will say like i just ain't mm -mm. I, I feel like there's nothing wrong with the phone, you know. I feel like after so long it gets slow. Like, my phone is really old. I feel like another year in, like, you could do nothing with this phone, which is really sad. But there's nothing wrong with having an older iPhone, okay? Nothing. So, yeah, anyways, I'm going to get this set up. I just got done eating lunch. My husband made me, like, a breakfast sandwich. It was so good. And um, I'm watching a little... A little show. I'm watching um, Toya and Regine show. I'm like super late to watching it, but I'm watching it now. And then um, dinner is cooking. It's looking good. The house is smelling good. All I gotta do is make some asparagus, which I'm excited for because I love me some asparagus. But let me get off of here and I'm gonna check in with y'all a little bit later. Hey y'all, what's up? It is, let's see, Saturday, October 14th. I cannot remember the last day I was on here. I know it's been a minute. It's been a minute. I'm sorry, y'all. But um, <laughs> the last time I stopped off, I know I had started doing the cleanse. And then I got in a new phone. My hair was janky. I finally did my hair. I washed it. So this is what we are working with. I, had, uh, I don't know if y'all can see. Well, I'm in the bathroom. But these are my twists or whatever. This is the side that I did first, so it's a little more shrunken. But this is my hair, and I really am loving it. I, like, washed my hair, blow-dried it, so I love the way that it turned out. Um, I'm just putting a little gloss on, y'all, because I don't like dry lips. Your girl don't like dry lips. But, um, y'all, I've been absent, and I'm so sorry, like... Tomorrow is Sunday the 15th and I don't even have a vlog to put out. I'm not even about to try to rush it. I could like get y'all a video in a day with some proper dedication. But today ain't that day. Um, all I've done today y'all is got some groceries which I usually do on Sunday. But since I only needed a couple of things we got a big grocery haul last week. So I made my meal plan. Got the few things I wanted to get. So that is out the way. I spent all day like doing laundry and everything so that was good um so yeah it's just been chill y'all like i just missed y'all so much and um when y'all message me and hit me up on instagram y'all be like are you i can't wait for your video tomorrow i'd be like oh lord or i can't wait for the video sunday and i'm over here you know big chilling but no seriously y'all it took me four days to do my hair two days to like take it down two days to put the twist back now I'm not obviously these aren't full days this is maybe like a couple of hours so in total it probably took me four hours you know to do my hair but um it's just over the course of days and you know if you're in the process of doing your hair you don't look the cutest so anyway not that I'm trying to come on here and look cute but you know you want to be a little put together so um yeah uh today I'm I'm feeling fall like it's it's not fall I'll show y'all what I'm wearing in the mirror but um I got this sweater from Target and this is an old navy tee. I showed y'all this in like a clothing haul a few videos back. Your girl done got her a belt because y'all the pants be falling off. Wearing some uh straight leg jeans from old navy. So yeah, that's it. And um it's it's giving fall, like it's let's see. I mean it's 72 degrees, but that's okay. Like it's a little chillier in the house, you know. So I've been wearing this sweater every day, y'all. So I prepare to get sick of it because I'm in love with it. Like it's so nice quality. And I just throw it on as I would throw my robe on. Cause usually your girl would be in a robe. But I'm like, this is a little bit more, you know, put together. Also did my nails. Um now I will say like the nails are giving summer and the clothes are giving fall. It's giving confused. <laughs> But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to come on and chat and say what's up, y'all. 
I'm gonna show y'all what I'm wearing real quick and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all know how this cleanse is going, okay? All right, y'all, so I'm in my room. There's no lights on. As you can see, there's the whole situation over there. Whatever, but this is the tee I'm wearing and just some straight jeans. This sweater from Target, which I freaking love. This is in size large for reference. And I like it. Excuse the clothes in the background. I thought this was cute. I like the sweater. It's really cozy and nice. And I thought this pop of like burgundy was nice for fall. So yeah, that is what I'm wearing. So anyway, y'all, I'm in the kitchen because I'm about to make me a... Uh, like a protein coffee pick me up i've been real real tired we'll talk about that we'll talk about that um but i gotta update y'all on this um cleanse y'all the cleanse sorry y'all new phone and i'm gonna fetch i was trying to like uh connect my rewards but it's making me like re-log in everywhere it's just doing the most um you know so i've been trying to do that and into the password do i know it all right so Anyways, y'all, so this is the cleanse we're doing. I'll show it to you just in case like you don't know or you're new here or you just want to know what's going on. So this is the cleanse here. It's by Go Nutrients. It's called Intestinal Edge. Um, So I want to say, because I didn't know this, I didn't realize y'all. And like if you're already doing a cleanse with me, you probably already realized and this cleanse is going to get expensive, and this is why. This bottle here, um, you're supposed to take, let's see, I think it says like 50 drops, which is a half a teaspoon, two to three times a day. Well, I was doing it twice a day, but my husband also does a cleanse with me. So with both of us doing it twice a day, this bottle only lasted three, maybe four days. I think it lasted four days. Um, and then I had to order another bottle. So here's bottle number two. So I went ahead and ordered bottle number two, but I'm like, if I have to order this bottle every four days, this is $25. That's a bit much. So what I will say about the cleanse in general is that I feel like it works. It's doing what it's supposed to do. It's pulling out those toxins. This is not a cleanse that I'm personally doing to lose weight or anything like that. Cause you guys know I'm on a weight loss journey. I'm not promoting cleanses to like lose some pounds or whatever you might you probably will lose pounds just naturally when you're doing a cleanse but this cleanse is like deeper than that it's more so digestive overall health um and i have a lot of issues with my gut and stuff like that so that's why i'm doing a cleanse for a more like holistic purpose that i'm not going to get into with you guys because it's not everybody's cup of tea but that's why me and my husband are doing a cleanse so anyways It'll get expensive now. Can I pay for it? Yeah, do I want to? Maybe we'll see. We'll see. So it's been two, it's been about two or three days since our last dose. And what I will say is I can tell the cleanse is still cleansing. Even though it's been a few days, like it still works through your system. So it's cleansing now. I don't have like D, you know, I'm not running, you know to the toilet i'm not doing none of that so it's not doing any of that it doesn't make you like oh my god drop what you're doing oh i can't go out you're not gonna be in the middle of the aisle at home goods and gotta find a toilet it's it's not like that it's not one of those cleanses um but the taste oh jesus the taste i, I took it on camera so y'all already see my reaction but it's it's disgusting to me a lot of people in the review said it's kind of like molasses. I guess I don't like molasses, honey, because it's it's nasty. Okay, it's mal nasty. That's what it is. It's nasty. It's not good. And when you have to take it multiple times a day over a period of time, it's it's real gross. You know, I'm able to get it down, but I'm chugging water. And that's another thing. Doing a cleanse, make sure you're drinking a lot of water, staying hydrated. Another thing. So a lot of people that do cleanses like this they recommend taking like a binder and there's like different kinds you gotta do your own research i'm not here to be anybody's medical professional so if you have really specific questions about a cleanse because of your you know current conditions ask your doctor boo i'm sorry but i am taking it with activated charcoal um as a binder you do you 
but that's what we took so that we didn't get any like sick symptoms because sometimes when you're doing a cleanse like this you start feeling like you got the flu or something like you feel real ill but that will help you with those symptoms so yeah overall the cleanse definitely works i'm we're gonna go through another bottle or so and see how that goes i'm thinking maybe like three bottles that's like three weeks so they tell you to do it three weeks on and a week off so it's like four days a week not quite three weeks but it's a cleanse at least i'm consistently trying you know i'm trying because it's expensive so and i'm trying to save y'all some coins i would say your bottle will last you longer if you're doing it by yourself because without my husband's dosages it will probably last me like a week and a half almost two weeks so you spend less money that way so if it's just you doing a cleanse by yourself it's great Cause you're not spending as much money buying it. it's like 24 25 dollars on amazon i'll link it but like i said i'm probably gonna buy it just because i want to do the cleanse and get the full benefits from it but you have to make that decision for yourself but i want to make sure i was updating y'all so like day one two i was cool day three i felt kind of um bloated like i woke up my stomach was kind of like distended like it was bigger than usual um and that was very uncomfortable for me so that happened on day three but on day four i was no longer bloated or anything everything was back to normal so and i read that that could be normal so don't be alarmed but anyways that's the cleanse that's the cleanse y'all it ain't that bad honestly so if you want to try it let me know how it's going in the comments if you are trying it or if you want to try it like chime in let me know getting ready to what time is it it's 3 30 so i'm gonna make me a protein coffee and then we're probably gonna head out we on saturdays usually get like chick-fil-a i won't even hold you yes i get chick-fil-a pretty much every saturday and all i get is a 12 pound grilled nugget and a small mac and cheese it's about 500 calories even that's gonna be my dinner and then we got groceries so i'm gonna have like one of my little yogurt cups strawberry cheesecake cups for dessert i also baked some cookies last night let me sh let me show y'all i baked cookies last night these are a uh, snickerdoodle my husband's absolute favorite so i did go ahead and bake these so maybe don't they look good y'all don't play with her okay don't okay y'all you know it, it came out of box but let's just imagine i, mean, I had to put some elbow grease in you gotta use a stick of butter a egg and a mix so you know i did a little bit i was whipping it up i had to get get in there and knead the dough okay so i made these cookies with love okay i'm just about to make some coffee y'all but i want to check in because i i'm the type of person that if i'm not consistently coming on camera child we'll look up and it'll be two weeks later and y'all be like where is sean sean is here oh another big update y'all so i'm in the process of i think i'm gonna change the channel name and i wonder i feel like by the time y'all see this the channel name is gonna be different um but i'm thinking about changing from the guyton family to just sean yvonne which is me i'm sean my middle name is yvonne it's a name that i've always used online um i feel like it just speaks to who i am so this channel is primarily like me my family is here but when i made the channel and decided to name it the guyton family it was either between the guyton family and squeaky squeaky clean lifestyle <laughs> tongue twister because my main channel is called squeaky clean life where i used to make like cleaning motivational videos so um i don't think i quite want to go to squeaky clean lifestyle because i feel like that's just a chapter in my life that is closed right now and i don't want to revisit that so i'm thinking about naming the channel sean yvonne so if you see that that's me girl that's me it's me so you'll see like new everything the name of the channel is gonna change i'm gonna have like new graphics channel art whatever a new banner and everything is just going to be a little bit different but i just wanted to let y'all know and it's not that i'm taking my family out of the channel because like i said they live here but primarily you're only going to see like mostly me because that's just what it is you know i'm on a weight loss journey i enjoy sharing my life they don't mind being on camera but it's less about them and more about me so i'll still share the same content but i'm just going to be changing up the name that suits the channel better in my personal opinion so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing so be on the lookout for that don't be surprised and be like who is this sean yvonne person i didn't subscribe to her <laughs> but yeah y'all it's sean s-h-a-n i know that's confusing because usually you would say shan i would say you could debate my mama but you really can't because you know i ain't going for that but 
that's just my name sean yvonne so look look out for that okay but anyway i'm gonna see y'all later maybe later today if not i'll see y'all i'll see y'all soon okay just know that i'll be seeing y'all soon i have been keeping up with my progress i want to give y'all an update but i think i'm gonna save it i think i'm gonna put it all in one video because it's been good there's some things i want to share some milestones i want to share and just some exciting stuff but i think i want to save it for another video maybe like a sit down video i'll share that but i'm so excited i have some like wins some non-scale victories just like overall stuff that i'm excited to share but anyway i'll be rambling all day if i don't get off here and i gotta get ready to go because you know the time's ticking okay see you later good morning y'all it's monday let's see october 16th y'all and it's a chilly day as you can see i'm in my sweater because i'm kind of cold no i'm really cold y'all i'm like freezing cold it's so cold today it's like i don't know um let's see like 50 something which is really chilly i think overnight it was like 40 something so y'all it's it's chilly so i came in the kitchen i was on the couch trying to read a little bit and i don't know what it is like i sit down to read and i end up doing everything else but i'm about to make me some tea to like warm myself up so i'm gonna like brew a tea bag and then i'm actually gonna make me some of this tea the iron hammer one that i showed y'all a couple vlogs back or whatever i'm just going to like steep this for like 15 20 minutes however long and then come back and have that too so that should warm me up pretty good the curry is so loud y'all excuse the like y'all laundry <laughs> I always start laundry on Friday and like do laundry all day. So Friday, I did laundry all day. Saturday, um, I did some more. And then yesterday, I ended up washing my bedding. And that was like the end of laundry. But my husband's clothes, he likes to fold his own clothes, which I love that for me. <laughs> I love that for him. So those are his clothes he has to fold. And I just need to put all the empty hampers back up. So it kind of looks messy, but it ain't. It ain't okay just want to check in i'm trying to be more present because i had such a disconnected week last week where i wasn't vlogging anything i wasn't picking up the camera i feel like i ain't had nothing going on you know like there's always stuff i could share but sometimes you just kind of get into a rut where you're like well i ain't doing nothing anyway i'm just chilling and i told you i was doing my hair all week so yeah i feel like that ain't nothing to film y'all don't want to see that my hair looks crazy because i like sleep on it and then it gets all crinkly but anyways so yeah making my tea y'all last night blessed me so much because i have been going through like a lot of anxiety mind you if you don't know i deal with anxiety all the time like no matter what um but i feel like i was just more and more and more anxious so i've been on this journey working on my health and i feel like as i'm working on my health you know getting improving my health and getting better feeling better labs are better things pop up and then i start to worry about my health um my mom's calling i'm gonna answer in just a minute <laughs> if you're watching this i'm gonna call you right back but you know as i'm improving my health i feel like i start to worry about my health because i'm one of those people that i go to the doctor and i can get a clean bill of health and i'm still gonna be like well are they sure like did they miss something why do i still feel like this because i have a lot of nerve pain that i don't speak about in my neck ear area you know i am about to get my wisdom teeth surgery next month so hopefully it'll improve but i just kind of get in my head about it a lot and i'm trying to stop doing that so last night really blessed me because you know yesterday was sunday and typically i wake up and i try to watch church like first thing but i did not so before i went to bed i knew i had pulled out my bible i had started already reading and you know i'm just thinking about like what do i want to like what do i need to hear from god mind you having no idea you know i pull out my bible i instantly went to romans 8 and 28 it just helps calm my anxiety when i'm feeling real anxious but then y'all i literally like turned on my phone 
no i was on my ipad i opened the ipad and i just clicked the first sermon that popped up and y'all it blessed my life it was literally talking about god just walking you through the seasons of your life where you're feeling fearful doubtful you're not resting you're not trusting god to work it out you know and i'm like wow that that's so true i have been going through life trying to have all the answers i need to know all the answers i need to like put everything together and figure out why is this happening to me it was always a why is this happening to me i'm a good person why is this happening to me but y'all bad things happen to good people all the time but you know what you prevail you get through it i if you look back over your life i know me i tell myself reflect back on the past and things that have happened in my life 99 no 100 percent of all my bad days i survived them i'm still here to tell the story i have survived 100 percent of my worst days so what makes me think that i won't survive this season of life so i'm in the mind space right now where i'm just focusing more so on making sure that i'm being steadfast and like praying and just seeking the word of god you know when i'm feeling anxious sorry about the lighting y'all it's, it's really dreary outside so hold on let's switch it around all right that's a little better so you know i'm just making sure that i'm doing what i'm supposed to do and you know I know that I'm going to get through this, all of this anxiousness. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all because it just felt so good. I took so many notes and I wrote down things and I actually bought myself a prayer journal. I ordered it. It just has not shipped out yet. The lady said it was like on back order or whatever. So when that comes, I'll show y'all. I'm so excited to like really get into praying intentionally for the things that I need and want God to help me with, which is pretty much everything. Okay, really praying for my anxiety. It was one of those things where I'm like, I'm either going to pray pray this thing off of me because it's that bad or i'm going to have to go back on medication which i don't want to do so anyway let me get off my soapbox i just want to share that with y'all like i said i will share the journal whenever it comes because i'm super excited i also found a couple of books on amazon that uh are supposed to be like prayer books or like scriptures for anxiety so i think i'm gonna grab those too and that'll be nice so getting in my journaling i haven't journaled in so long so i think this is gonna be very healing for me um on this journey i'm getting ready to go ahead and make my tea i gotta call my mom back y'all <laughs> i ain't one of them people that don't answer when they mama calls. so i'm gonna call my mama back i'm gonna make my tea and then i'm gonna check in with y'all a little bit later almost 4 30 and i thought let me go ahead and get a quick walk i might do 15 20 minutes because i'm making dinner um for dinner tonight we're just gonna have like a big salad so right now i'm making some chicken and i have some eggs boiling so i was like might as well just give me a little walk in um mostly i don't know but i kind of tried to switch up my workout schedule because getting up and working out in the morning feels super good for me and my body i love it however i noticed that i kind of like slack on things that i need to get done sometimes so i'm like let me switch it up so the switch up has been like me working out later in the day which is okay because i'm so disciplined at this point that i know i'll show up and do the workout but if you're a person that's not disciplined it is good to go ahead and get up and get the workout over with as early as you can i forgot to turn this on hold on for me i know that i'm gonna work out no matter what so actually i downloaded a new audiobook so i think like while i'm on here i'm just gonna listen to me a good old audiobook i don't know where my other headphone is why is it me i always use the right one and when i have to use the left one i just don't like it i don't know why i'm like way too right-handed <laughs> but anyways so i'll show y'all the book and then i'm listening to it. i'm on chapter three i hope y'all can see it let's see so if y'all can see that because i can't tell from back here it's called Nanny Wanted by Lizzie Barber. Hold on, let me change my battery, y'all. It's dying. Anyway, y'all, got a new battery, and we about to walk. That's what I'm listening to, just in case you are curious, because somebody asked me to share more of my books, y'all. So I do listen to audiobooks when I'm walking sometimes. So that's what we're about to do. Let's crank this up. Let me start my watch, okay? 
Cause it ain't a workout if I ain't get it on my watch. Not really. Like if you don't have a watch, it's not that deep, y'all. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna do. Mm, let's go for 20 minutes. I'm gonna do 20 minutes, and hopefully by the time I'm done with this walk, the uh, mail carrier will have delivered my packages that I've been waiting on all day long. And if I wasn't waiting on these packages, I feel like they would have came early this morning. But because I'm waiting on the packages. They're taking absolutely all day. Kids, they love the trampoline. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to check in with y'all. I'm about to crank this up so I can do kind of like a speed walk and I'm not gonna be able to talk to y'all through that. So I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, I'm done. 32 minutes, 200 calories, hold on, 1.76 smile. Woo, I'm tired. All right, I gotta go finish making dinner, so I'll check with y'all later. Hey y'all, so it's a couple hours later. I think I saw y'all at like 4.30. It's literally 6.30 right now, almost 6.30 anyways. Y'all, look at my cute little shirt. I didn't even show y'all, I'm so rude. But it says, peace where there used to be fear, and it's Matthew 6 and 34. The scripture is right here. Y'all, I'm sorry. My family is a little loud. <laughs> like they didn't see me with a camera or whatever. I really thought this was cute. I have, I think three new shirts. So I'll have to show y'all as I wear them because they're already hanging in my closet. But I tried out a new shop and I really like the quality of the shirts. They're really thick. Still, still, still love Beacon Threads. Stand by Beacon Threads. I love them, but I like trying out just different Christian shirts and supporting different businesses. So that was cool. But I want to show y'all what I got. So I ordered some glasses. And typically I get my glasses off from Zenny Optical. Like these I'm wearing. I have a pink pair. I have a black um and kind of like white pair. And then I have an all black pair. So I have four pairs of glasses. So an ad on Instagram got me. And so I got these uh from Zilu. I've never ordered from them before y'all. Um, but I see so many of my friends say they get their glasses from them. So I got me two pair and I, this is my first time seeing them. So we're actually going to see them and try them all together. So if I look crazy, I'm probably going to keep the glasses. <laughs> so this is the first pair y'all. I definitely have a type when it comes to glasses. I won't even lie. And you'll probably notice that. I don't know if I like the thin, uh, I don't know if I like that, but these are cute okay let's try them on so i'm gonna take these off let's try these on see how they look on me so this is the glasses y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think these look so good babe they look good okay honestly y'all i can't really tell the difference between these and my other ones what i will say is these are super lightweight my other glasses have a thicker they feel thicker, but these are nice. So this is the glasses. Y'all all in my grill. Y'all can see all my molds, child, but I love the shape of these. So these are super nice. All right, so let's open this other pair. And like I said, I do have a type, y'all, when it comes to glasses. <laughs> my friend said that. She was like, girl, you're so neutral. Like, I'm the poster child for Earth Tone, okay? I'm trying. I'm trying. I do like color, y'all, which is why my nails are always pink. But, like, when I dress, you know? So this is the other pair here, y'all. And they're all, like, clear frame. That's just my vibe because it goes with everything. But look how pretty these are wow they're so cute all right so i'm gonna take this pair off and i'm gonna put this pair on and i do want y'all to tell me in the comments which pair y'all like better oh these are fly girl she matched me so y'all have to let me know what y'all think but you like these you like these better yeah these are cute Q, 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 honey. I don't know which one I like the most. I love them. Um, like I said, I, I can't help it. She wants a dessert and she gonna interrupt my vlog to tell me. Okay, hold on. Y'all see any one of those girls, you can't take her out for dinner. She wants dessert too. You know how I usually be like, oh no, thank you. She wants dessert every day. Okay, she wants dessert. So these are cute, y'all. I'm really happy with them. 
and um i'm probably just about to wear these because i have them on and they look cute they look fly i feel you know they gave them a little it just added a little some some like i said y'all all in my grill but let me know if y'all like the new frames i'm feeling them i'm liking them okay I'm ready to order some more now because, you know, when you ordering from somewhere, you like, let me get a pair or two and see if I like them before I go crazy. So now it's time to go crazy. I want to like have a whole glasses collection to where I have glasses for every outfit. Like today, I feel like these glasses kind of give, you know, but I want glasses for each just vibe that I have going on. Um, so that's a go i don't wear contacts y'all i haven't worn contacts since like my early 20s okay i haven't worn contacts in probably like almost 10 years i don't know i just don't be feeling well no it ain't been that long consistently it's been a while also y'all i have an old navy order because i love old navy and they kind of had a sale I don't want to say that's how I justify it because y'all, I just be shocked. I don't have anybody to justify my spending habits with. You know, my husband don't care. This is like a basic olive green, just long sleeve shirt. I don't have anything that's long sleeve that fits since I've lost weight. All right, so the next thing I got was this shirt. And this looked just like one of my other shirts, except for it's not fitted. Um, I got this thinking that this is the shirt that goes with the brown leggings that I have that have the ribbing on them. I'm going to see if they're a good match. I'm trying to match that color and I haven't quite found it because the other shirt I got does not match. So we'll see if this shirt goes, but that's why I got that. I also got some like sleep shorts, y'all. I thought these were cute. I sleep in like stuff like this with like a tank top. I'm a hot sleeper, but lately I've been waking up really cold because it's cold outside. So these were on sale, y'all. I can't remember how much I paid. Maybe like $6 at Old Navy. I also got myself like a sports bra situation. I'm not sure how to hold this because of the straps. Hold on. All right. It's cute though. It's a pretty pink color. I'll show you the back. Right here. So I got a sports bra because it was cute. It was on sale and I have the pants that are the same color. So I thought that would be a cute set to work out. And sometimes when you have matching sets, and you're working out it just keeps you you know you feel like working out because you want to look cute i got these pants and as i'm looking at them i'm like well I don't, I don't really know my thought process on these pants but they are active pants they oh extra high rise wide leg pants okay so these are their active power chill so they are just extra wide leg but they are high rise and i don't know i like the wide leg look wide leg look i like this camel like color this is cute i can't wait to see how these look on me and everything i have is in a size large i don't know why y'all need to know that or i i don't know why i'm telling you but everything's in a size large i did get a basic white tank because believe it or not i have every color tank except for white i don't have any white tanks no that's a lot i have one but it's an extra large and it's way too loose for me now and then i got another just basic long sleeve shirt but this one's brown i'm just feeling like brown is gonna be my color for the fall and winter like i'm really feeling the earthy tones like i like earth tones anyway but i've been buying everything in like olive browns taupes creams like black of course but i have about as you can see, ain't nothing over there black. Now, don't judge me because I went right from black to brown, baby. We're in the same family. <laughs> but the last thing I got from Old Navy is this super cute utility jacket. It's a cinched waist one here. And I also got this in a large. I think it's going to fit really well. I would prefer like a jacket to fit a little oversized because if I have on sleeves or something kind of bulky underneath, you know, you want to be comfortable in it. But this was on sale. I don't remember how much I paid for this stuff, y'all. I don't know. But, you know, I order from them so much that I always have like a coupon. It does have pockets. I think this is really cute. Y'all, I keep feeling like there's something in my ear. I'm sorry for doing that. But this is cute. I like it a lot. When I actually put that on, I'll show y'all um, how it looks or whatever. But yeah, so that's my little haul, y'all. Let me know if y'all like what I share things with y'all just randomly that I buy. Because I'm always randomly buying stuff just, just for the sake of 
let me not say that because that sounds horrible i don't buy stuff just for the sake of buying stuff but i do like to you know spoil myself I guess technically my husband spoils me. I'm a stay at home mom, but you know, I'm spoiled and I'm aware of that and I appreciate being able to get things. I think that he is just so proud of me and my journey. He knows I need clothes. I've grown out of my clothes. I'm pulling up pants all day. They're falling off of me or, you know, my shirts are just hanging off of me like sex. And I want to feel confident and comfortable in my body, you know, as I'm on this journey to lose weight and y'all, let me grab my phone because I want to show y'all something. Girl, not me coming back with a Coke Zero, okay? You got a hold on me. Y'all, I got to close my eating window in like 20 minutes. And I really want to eat like a cheesecake yogurt. So I need to speed this up. But I do want to show y'all something. Hold on. All right, so I actually <laughs> hit another milestone I want to share with y'all. Let me see. Maybe I should like lower the brightness so I don't trip. So I am currently... 80 pounds down and i'm so excited i'm so excited um <laughs> y'all know i think in my last vlog i was 75 pounds down and you know i was able to lose an additional like 4.85 pounds or so after not losing for like three weeks almost so that felt really good that felt really really good so i'm really happy with that we are on the journey to lose 20 more pounds y'all we're on a journey to lose 20 more pounds and y'all be sending me the best comments like i screenshot y'all's comments when y'all send them to me i read them i show my husband because they mean so much to me when y'all share your journey with me a lot of y'all are on the same journey and some of y'all have you know oh my god i only have 15 pounds left or 20 pounds left or you'll be like i lost 12 pounds and i'm like yes i get so excited for y'all because weight loss is tough and i know i come on here and i'm smiling and i'm i'm upbeat and i'm feeling it but i know that it can be hard it was hard for me for a bunch of years before i was able to do it so when y'all share with me that you know i'm motivating y'all and one lady even told me she feels like i'm the person that will finally get her to start losing that meant so much to me because there's so many people out here that are motivating that are inspiring on this journey and for you to look at me and see something in me that inspires you to like finally do it that means a lot to me that truly means a lot to me so i really appreciate y'all like i'll be reading y'all comments i appreciate y'all's comments i save them i don't know what i'm gonna do with them but sometimes you just want to go back and reflect on it if i'm ever feeling down or whatever i'm like look Look what you've done. You are motivating people. You're doing great. I appreciate y'all just as much as y'all appreciate me because y'all keep me going on this journey. It is not easy. I feel like the closer I get to my goal, the more my body be want. Like I wake up in the morning, y'all, and my stomach be growling. She ain't, she ain't did that, okay? In the past almost seven months, my stomach do not growl because I fast every single day. I do like anywhere between 18 and 20 hours. But now it'll be 10 a.m. and my stomach growling. Girl, bye. <laughs> But I ain't gonna eat though. I'll go make me like a cup of tea or some water or whatever. And I'm able to easily get through my fast. But it's just like things that I notice. I really want to get back into doing 100 squats a day. I think I'm gonna start that back up tomorrow. And I also want to start back doing upper body workouts. I want to be gentle with myself because, you know, the last time I started going hard is when like my lymph nodes started swelling. I'm having a lot of like nerve pain or whatever, but I'm gonna take it easy. I think I wanna do like 15, 20 minutes upper body a day in conjunction with walking on the treadmill and also being on the trampoline, which is so fun. So many of y'all bought that, tra that trampoline. I hope y'all enjoy it. <laughs> I really hope y'all have a good time. Like don't just put it in a corner and let it collect dust. Okay, pull that thing out, dust it off. Okay, <laughs> let's get it all the way together. But y'all, I am not gonna keep y'all. I'm probably gonna check in tomorrow, um, just depending on what I got going on. Cause like, I just retwisted this whole side of my hair. So it looks different. And I have to do this side cause it's all like crinkled up. So I'm probably about to like mindlessly do that while I watch TV tonight with my husband. I gotta go clean up the kitchen from dinner. I pretty much, I'm a clean as you go type of girl. Let me know, let me know. Y'all just let the mist pile up or you clean as you go. 
So I'm gonna do that and then, oh y'all, I can't go. Y'all know I like to talk. So how about I just randomly decided to get micro locks. I just randomly decided to get micro locks because you know what? I love my hair in mini twists so freaking much. And all my friends kept saying, you should just lock your hair. You should just lock your hair. My brother, you should just lock your hair. My, my brothers both have long locks. They're beautiful, you know? And they're like, you should just lock your hair. You like wearing your hair like this. It's convenient, like lock your hair. And I'm always like, no, I don't want to lock my hair. I don't want to look like my brothers. I think I'm going to do it, y'all. I'm going to get micro locks. They are teeny, teeny, tiny. But honestly, I think I'm going to do it myself. So if I end up DIYing my locks, I'm probably going to vlog it for y'all because we'll see we'll see your girl might just go and pay somebody to do it because i'm not the best at parting but i think i could do it like i do my own hair all the time i'm able to maintain these mini twists for like months at a time but i don't want to have to keep taking them out washing them and doing them again i want something that's more permanent and i like that with those micro locks or like sister locks that you can style your hair in like different ways and it still looks really good so i think I'm gonna, well, I'm pretty sure. I've already decided. I've already told my husband. <laughs> so I'm pretty solid on my decision to get micro locks. The question is when, because I know it's gonna take me like a week to do it myself. And I'm having surgery, like oral surgery in a few weeks. So we'll see, we'll see. I don't wanna start nothing and then I can't like finish it. And you know, the holidays are coming up. So we'll see, but know that it's going to happen. But for now, I'm definitely gonna just keep rocking mini twists until I get my micro locks but I'm excited for this. So anyway, y'all, that's just what I wanted to share today. I'm about to get off of here because literally my kids are staring at me like, girl, be quiet. I know I be talking. I love y'all. See y'all tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday, y'all. It's 12 o'clock right now, which is crazy to me. I feel like this day is flying by. It's um, October 18th. But I had to show y'all. I did my nails, y'all. I'm trying to catch some good light. I don't know. But I did my nails. Uh, I was feeling fall. I got some new polishes or whatever. And so this morning, I did my nails. Look how pretty they are, y'all. Like, yes, your girl did her own nails. These are not press-ons. I painted them. <laughs> and nothing against press-ons. I've never worn them. But they are beautiful, too. But these are gel extension nails that I put on. I used to show myself doing it. But it's such a long process. And I was trying to, like, be quiet. Because my husband was in a meeting so y'all is my lip gloss white <laughs> not like y'all was about to tell me but um so anyway i just want to show y'all how cute 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 my nails turned out and also i'm gonna show y'all these clothes i got for the kids i already started washing the jeans but i'll show y'all everything else excuse my desk because yes honey i did my nails as you can see it's a hot mess these are the colors i use by the way hold on just in case somebody is interested this is the brand here and these are the the numbers if i can show y'all so like 0857 and then she's 08 there we go 99 so yeah those are the colors but look y'all i decided to be one of those people that like decorate my kindle so i'm playing around with stickers right now and i thought this was so cute like look at the dragon i love fantasy books if you didn't know so the dragon is so cute to me just one more chapter there's tea on a stack of books books and tea because y'all know i love tea reading is definitely my jam okay i thought this was so cute and there's so many stickers i just put them in this um ziploc bag so i can switch them out whenever i want to but this thing was like six dollars on amazon and you get a hundred stickers so i thought that was a great deal and also i got myself some like apple watch bands they're all in this print here so cute y'all i'm wearing one today so like this is how it looks on me i think these are so cute and y'all i need to get moving i have not been active and it's 12 o'clock okay so hold on i'll see y'all in a minute so anyway we are competing with the washing machine as far as sound today y'all so sorry in advance okay y'all i'm wearing this cute little two-piece set it's like a uh i don't know it feels like a like i'm wearing a blanket it's like a little tank crop and the shorts so cozy and cute and of course my signature sweater i told y'all to be prepared to be sick of because i love it and i put my hair up i don't know i feel like i'm in high school again and i like that for me <laughs> but anyway um so children's place had like a little sale so i grabbed a couple things like i said i'm washing their jeans so there's four pairs of jeans uh two for each child 
that I'm washing now because y'all these clothes been sitting on top of the washer for days. Okay, so I need to get them put away. Um, so I got my daughter just a pair of basic leggings. These are like a light pink. You can never have too many leggings, okay? She wear a lot of dresses and I told her like we're transitioning from wearing shorts with your dresses to leggings. So I'm trying to get different colors so she'll be okay with that because she got every color shorts you can think of. So anyways, I got this green shirt here this is adorable i thought this was really pretty for like fall winter and i got her a plain like just long sleeve pink tee i don't know why but my little girl love emojis so i got her this cute little shirt here it's kind of like a thermal shirt which do it it don't necessarily get thermal cold but it's cute it's cute and then i got this one just because she loves butterflies and i thought this was a cute shirt so got that one and then y'all they had like their jackets on sale originally this jacket i'm about to show y'all is uh 40 dollars, and i think i got it for like half the price even less than half i want to say that all the jackets were like 17 bucks which i mean come on you cannot beat that if i see a jacket for 17 dollars, i'm getting it okay so i got my daughter this one which is really cute really soft love it so i got her this one and also i got her this one now mind you both of these jackets were 17 dollars with the hood the puffer so i got her that and then my son i got them the same jackets just in their favorite colors so obviously as you can see my daughter loves pink i do too so i get it and then my son he loves blue so i got him this one the navy blue with the light blue same jacket and then i also got him a puffer jacket here and y'all i'm kind of mad because i don't know why but i'm like why don't they have a hood i don't i don't understand that my daughter's is the same jacket i ordered them from the same thing and his didn't come with a hood i'm not gonna take it back but i probably will get him an additional jacket with a hood or he'll have to wear a hat like if it's actually chilly outside because yeah, like, I don't know, that was the only drawback. That one didn't have a hood, so I paid a little more attention than I did because that's 100% my error. I wasn't like checking for a hood. I just knew like, oh, puffer jacket in this size or whatever, so that is what I got. Uh, I didn't get a lot of like clothes for my son. I got him jeans, but he doesn't wear clothes from a lot of different places just because he's very, very, very slim and the only clothes that really fit him good is h m just the cut and the shape of the clothes they stay on him so that's where we get his clothes from i don't order from children's place i honestly haven't in years but i was looking for jackets and they had jackets so that works for me also while i'm on here y'all are amazing y'all are so amazing i wanted to thank y'all so much for all of the orders on the weight loss journal like i'm blown away i would show y'all one but we shipped them out yesterday so if you're still waiting and you're watching this they got shipped out so they should be on the way y'all we shipped out like 10 orders in like a week like i'm like wow thank y'all so much i really appreciate it i hope y'all love y'all journal like i have enjoyed having my weight loss journal and being able to track my progress in that way it just makes it really really fun i always have the link to the journals in the description box and we ship them out as quickly as we can like our postal service is a little slow okay but we did get everybody's orders shipped out so they should be on the way to their new home and i hope y'all love them and enjoy them <laughs> let me know when you get them i'll be so happy to know what you think about them and y'all just have to thank y'all because you know i wasn't expecting anybody to want to buy it but i'm like just in case somebody wants to journal you know their journey just like me here they are and you guys are loving them some of you already have them and you've been using them for months and you love them so thank y'all thank y'all thank y'all so much y'all are amazing i think that i'm getting ready to make lunch for my kids and then we have to run out we have to run a couple of errands so i'm gonna do that and then come back home and today is wednesday what am i cooking oh okay i'm like i have to know what i'm cooking so i'll make sure because i'm like i didn't thaw any meat out so what am i cooking yeah y'all i just want to check in i was editing up the video and it's kind of longer than i thought i'm like oh i don't have enough footage i don't have a girl i do have enough footage because <laughs> i'll be running my dang on mouth i don't know how to be quiet i hope y'all love that 
you either hate it or you love it okay and i talk a lot talk a lot okay but um yeah that's all on my agenda for today i don't really have anything planned like run a quick errand come home by then you know it'll be nap time and then we do homeschool i've been walking around like 4 30 ish um in the afternoons that has been working out because i'm usually cooking dinner so by the time dinner is done my walk is done um i'm liking this schedule i think today i'm actually gonna start back doing a dumbbell workout uh if i do i'll try to get back on here and show y'all which one i do on youtube i did link it in a past video but just in case you don't want to go back and see because a lot of y'all do ask me that uh i'll try to remember to show y'all if i end up doing that today but other than that that is it y'all i'm gonna check in with y'all a little bit later happy thursday y'all it is the 19th Oh y'all, it really feel like Friday. So I'm so grateful that it is Friday, Junior. Your girl don't feel good. I started not feeling good yesterday. And today I'm just like, child, I'm ready to lay down somewhere. I ain't got no energy. I'm just not feeling that well. If you're a lady, you understand. I'm just not feeling that well. Y'all look at my cute shirt, Faith Over Fear. This is also from Glow. Uh, I was showing y'all the other day. I'll show y'all the back of it in a minute. But um, I was going to show y'all. Hold on. So my uh, so I ordered this little book I was telling y'all about yesterday for like devotions for anxiety, like Bible verses and stuff. So it's a really small book, which I love that. And it says 180 Bible verses for conquering anxiety devotions for women. Looks like this. So i ordered this little book off of amazon it did not cost that much money it was definitely under ten dollars the back says with god's help you can conquer anxiety yes i sure can and will okay i'm gonna keep y'all updated so this is just the route i'm deciding to take like if your anxiety is really bad and you feel like you need medication do that i've done that i've gone that route <clears throat> so now we're gonna we're gonna take it to god okay because he can do the impossible okay and i'm trusting him to release me from the bondage of this anxiety because I'm over it, okay? So I'm excited, 180 Bible verses, and I'm really just gonna start probably at the beginning because I'm such a structured person. So yeah, these are like really cute. Honestly, okay, let's just read the first one together, y'all. We just we just going for it, okay? Um, So number one, it says, where's your focus? The Bible verse is coming from John 13, 34 and 35 and it says let me give you a new commandment love one another in the same way i loved you you love one another this is how everyone will recognize that you are my disciples when they see the love you have for each other and then it says well the passage now says we feel anxious because we are focused on ourselves we are locked in on the things that frustrate and discourage us in our tunnel vision we only see what's intimidating and overwhelming and we end up spiraling into a pit of despair who wouldn't freak out if they sat in their own worry it's debilitating but what if we lifted our heads and looked at the needs of the world around us instead what if we stopped fixating on ourselves and found ways to bless others ask god to reveal ways to help those around you it will take your mind off yourself and point others to him i really like that message y'all i really like that kind of shifting your focus perspective and i really like that i feel like that's something that will actually help me because i love helping others so maybe if i just get out of my own head sometimes and like focus on what's actually around me i think this is a good message i'm actually gonna go in my bible and read a little further and i also want to share my bible because it's something i've never shared um my husband got me this bible for i want to say my 30th birthday this was like the bible that i really wanted so he got this for me it's the beautiful world bible here it looks like this i really like this bible it's very nice it's pretty vibrant i think you know that's what i like about it like it has like fun i say fun but you know you might not think it's fun but you know like pages like this um it's really nice i love it so like this is the bible so i'll be using that book along with my bible and remember i also got a prayer journal but i have not received it yet it's like back ordered or whatever so whenever that comes i'll share that and just keep y'all updated on my anxiety journey but if you're interested in that little book 
uh i will link it in the description box just so you can check it out i want to say it's like five or six dollars on amazon so yeah and now also if you've read any other books that you recommend or if you just want to share some scriptures with me girl like let's do it i'm here for it i will i write them down some of you guys actually message me over on instagram and share your favorite scriptures and i always write them down i really do appreciate this so so much y'all because like i'm working through this thing it's not gonna defeat me okay faith over fear <laughs> let me show you the back of my shirt real quick all right so y'all saw the front i'm gonna turn around and try to show you the back i hope y'all can see it i don't know this is my shirt faith over fear i thought this was super super cute sorry if you can't see it but um I really like these shirts. I love the quality. I love the message. All the shirts that I got from them are like centered around not having fear, trusting God, stuff like that. Uh, it just really encourages me. So if you need some encouragement, boom, baby. <laughs> I wear it loud and proud on my shirt. But I am actually going to go ahead and cut the vlog here. Because like I said, I don't feel too good. I was just ready to relax. The vlog is lengthy, okay? The vlog is lengthy. So I hope you guys have enjoyed up to this point. So if you did, make sure you give it girl a thumbs up and also go follow me over on instagram at sean yvonne underscore i did change my name so if you see that pop up it's me okay <laughs> i'm just rebranding once again because i know a lot of y'all had questions nothing is changing as far as content i'm just changing the name to my actual name so yeah hope y'all enjoyed the vlog just like i always enjoy hanging out with you and i will see y'all next week with a brand new video bye, bye.